All right, I can't do it anymore. I have to play more of the game. I've been dying. I, uh, for some reason, put this restriction on myself that I was only gonna play it like every other day so that I could put out the videos every other day and not feel bad about whatever. But then it's like, yeah, it's my YouTube channel. If I wanna play it more, I'm gonna play it some more. So I'm gonna play it some more. I've been thinking about this game a lot off camera and uh, I even played a little bit just like housekeeping stuff. Um, been selling stuff, been crafting some basic resources and things like that. I got a couple things that I need to do right now. One of them is progress to the next age. And that's going to unlock a bunch of stuff for us. The next thing is I need to get up to Anubis. Uh, and so I'm going to craft a bunch of diagonal walls. That's probably too many, but that's fine. Better too many than not enough. Uh, Anubis is up there, so I'm going to have to go up to the top of the mountain and then platform over to him. That's good, and uh, I'll retrieve, I'll uh, turn in four, what do they call them, stones of something or other? Slate of Growth. Ah. I have that thing where I need to sneeze, but then it just goes away instead. Um, so I need to do that. I need to uh, turn in four of those for uh, increased stats. I think they make you choose between health, mana, and stamina, and I'm going to choose stamina. Um, I took a look through the skill trees again. I can't believe that I was like... I can't believe that I didn't notice this before. But um, I got one more skill point. I think it was only one. Um, and I chose Charging Strike. So if I hold down the click button, I have a dash attack now. So that's awesome. And it makes me think a little bit that like... Um, you know, me sort of waffling on about uh, different attack patterns and things in the last uh, couple episodes. Maybe I just needed to play more. I mean, I didn't even realize, but there's like a whole bunch of um, different attacks that you can get. You just have to unlock them via skills, which is pretty cool. Alright, so once I get Anubis, uh, then what I want to do is I want to go to another world. Um, I mean, might as well grab that real quick. It's a red herb. I don't know what those do yet. Probably something. So I want to go back to another world. Um, yeah, okay. um, and... I don't know. I think there's just like a bunch of stuff that I've never seen before. We're getting to the point of the game where... I don't really know what's going on anymore. So I'll be discovering stuff as we go here. I hope my audio balance is right. I I keep telling myself I'm gonna like make a test videos before I go live so that I can figure out what I'm doing, but Okay. So Anubis. He's only level two, so I don't know why he's like Label was very strong, but I don't particularly want to find out, so that's that. Now, oh, yeah, one of the other things I wanted to do, which I'll just go ahead and do real quick. Oh, that's not okay. So, all these chests here, uh, they only have like one row of inventory space, but I want more than that, and so I think with this new level of technology, I can actually build different types of chests. So I can build steel chests, but I need steel for that. I think I can make that now with the new level of technology, I'm not totally sure. Um, and then there's the container, which I think someone said is only used for machines, so I don't think you can actually manually store stuff in it, but I'm not sure. Uh, steel chests, though, should be fine. I just need steel ingots. How do I make those? I'm assuming it's going to be, like, charcoal and iron. 
Uh, no, it's just steel. Or just iron. I mean, in real life, it would be something else, but yeah, that's fine. So, I have a bunch of iron. I cooked up a bunch of metals. Um, should I make 50? 50 sounds good? Roughly 50 at least. And there's glass, which, you know, we'll <clears throat> cross that bridge when we come to it. Oh, it takes 10 to make... Okay. Well, that's fine. Yeah, I guess that's one of the other things I need to do is um, find more ores to mine, which in the other worlds is going to be absolutely no problem. Um, I did briefly pop into one of the uh, the grassy islands that I never did much in. Because uh, I was just looking for boxes so that I could get more salt and pepper and stuff. I guess maybe the better way to do that would be to go into the dungeons, because the dungeons tend to have a lot of crates in them. At least the, uh, the combat dungeons do. So, let's go here. It's just that, and logs. So I can make two of these right now. That's fine. Uh, maybe I should set some more iron to cook, uh, some more steel to cook while I am off doing that. Uh, oh yeah, one of the things I wanted to do was build like a big storage silo. I thought that might be cool. And by storage silo, I just mean like a building that is tall and has a bunch of chests in it. Um, okay, so I don't want to cook like all of my iron into steel right now. I think I just need more iron before I'm comfortable doing that. Uh, let me put away my... this stuff. Um, I think that's it for now. Uh, I got rid of some of my swords. And, uh... Alright, so did I do everything I said I was going to do? So I know I have a bad memory. I went to Anubis, I leveled up the, the technology, and I made some chests. Is that everything I said I was going to do? I think it is. Alright, so let's go. I'm going to go to this island, because it seems like the desert island is kind of not that much to do there, it seems like. That's probably not true, but oh well. I just want to kill some stuff, get some resources, um, plenty of iron and silver and whatever to make. I probably should have made a new pickaxe. Maybe a new axe as well. But anyway, it's fine. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, so there's this thing. So I actually got one of these on my way back from... On my way back from a uh, thing. You can't... I don't seem to be able to do anything with it. Um, but that's fine, I guess. I, it says there's some sort of crafting recipe that uses it, so maybe I should just store it for now. Yeah, see, I think if I had silver, I could mine that. Or do I have silver right now? Maybe I need something stronger than silver. Uh, this is silver, so I think I need steel in order to mine these. Just, since there's a bunch of iron right here, let me just get this. And then, okay, so that rock pile over there is actually not a rock pile. That is some sort of a beast, which I would like to slay. Oh yeah, the other thing I wanted to do was get iron, because I've been running around naked for three episodes. Have at the beast. Nope. I got hit. He's going to throw stuff at me. I'll just tank the damage. It's fine. He's actually not hurting me that much. But he is rampaging, so I have a feeling he's not going to stop. Okay, there we go. And I get ores from it. Okay, interesting. Golem, stone, ore. I'm still pretty annoyed at the way that they, like, every ore, every item has to have some sort of modifier to it that... And then the modifiers don't stack, which is really 
really obnoxious, but I guess now that I have more storage space, that's less of an issue. So, getting iron, I need to go up. So I already went up there earlier, just to smash some boxes, get some salt and pepper and stuff. I'm sure there's going to be another way to get salt and pepper in the future, because, you know, just smashing random boxes seems like kind of a weird way to do that. Uh, I guess I'll go up there for now. There's some lizard men over here. Oh yeah, and there's a, there's a village somewhere. Don't interrupt me while I'm charging attacks. That charge attack, by the way, is really powerful. I think it does like 100 damage. Um, and that's not at max charge, I think. I could be wrong about that, but I don't think I am. Uh, yeah, so this thing right here, I mean, this is very Breath of the Wild, isn't it? But, I mean, that's this whole game. So, Pillar of the World Heritage. I don't know what that does exactly, but it seems pretty sick. Okay, well, you're not gonna cooperate, I guess. Uh, what else is I doing? I don't know. I think I'm just exploring right now. Uh, okay, well, that's unfortunate. Let me uh, use my healing spell. Uh, that's fine. It doesn't heal that much, but. Well, maybe it didn't heal that much because I hadn't lost that much life. That's a possibility. So I should definitely... That looks ominous. I don't know what's going on there. Um, I was going to say I should definitely not spend too much time here uh, before I go back and like start crafting myself a better uh, pickaxe and stuff, because there's a lot of this stuff that I need better gear for, like so. It's a six star. Okay. Yeah, you know what? I, I like this game. I've been dying to play it. I mean, I was like... I was watching some other people play it. I've been trying not to spoil myself too much, but, um... Yeah, I just need to play more. Like... It's one of the unfortunate side effects of having a YouTube channel, is that you feel a little guilty if you're playing something off-camera. Like, well, I should just be recording this. But, um... God damn. I need to use my shield more. I keep forgetting that I even had a shield. So like when they come for me like that, they keep knocking me down. That's like my main source of damage right now is that I'm, I keep getting knocked down. It's pretty annoying. Um, well, there's another dungeon over there. I swear I saw a village before. But, um, I can't find it anymore, so... Okay, well, you know what? You can just walk off the edge, that's fine. God damn it. I was trying to do the jump attack there, but it didn't work out. Okay, um... Well... Yeah, that giant skull rock over there. Okay, well, there's a couple of them. I think it might just be, like, a lizard man thing. The lizard men live there. Um, should I go into the dungeon? I mean, I feel like the dungeons are kind of... They're kind of just annoying, for the most part. But, uh, you know what? I'll go in anyway. Oh well. There's a lot going on over here. Enormous lag. Dungeon of Island, which I think means it is a combat dungeon. But with my new slash attack, it shouldn't be that bad. Plus, like, this is half the reason I was coming here anyway, is just to break a bunch of boxes and stuff. Is the music still too loud? I 
swear to God, I keep turning it down. And it keeps getting louder. I don't know, it's hard to tell. Uh, it's definitely loud in my headphones. Okay. Anyway. Silver ingot. It's fine. Alright, what do we got? Oh, these guys. These guys, I mean, they're probably a higher level, but they should be super easy. Uh, I think I saw... Wasn't there some sort of a... Do I have this already? If I'm crouching... I forget how it works. Do I have to hold this down? Yeah. But then it drains stamina, so. So does the other strike, actually, but... Ugh, come on, just short. Nice. Yeah, the combat, I mean, it, there's definitely stuff that could be done, but I think it's actually really fun, especially once you unlock some of the other attacks. It's just kind of fun to, like, play with all the different moves that you have in your arsenal. Alright, got some buttered potatoes. Can I go to the next room yet? Probably. No. Well, maybe. I just have to... Let's see. That's fine. What? Oh, I guess I had uh, low stamina, so it didn't... Um... Oh, and I need to keep eating while I'm doing this, too. It's a little dangerous. I forgot that it just takes... Straight up takes your food saturation, not just... Um... Not just stamina. Nice. Pretty much, if I hit anything with that, it's gonna die. Which is awesome. Let me, uh, let me see. What else can I unlock here? Oh, maybe I should wait until I'm in a different room. And then I'll unlock something new. See, ironclad brings up the shield's defense. That's fine. Increases the stack of your bare hands. It's not very good. Quick triple slash with a one-handed sword. And that's an active skill, so that would be on my hotbar. Weapon polishing. Uh, sharpen your weapon to increase the damage of your next attack. That's another active skill. You can stack it multiple times, so you could run around like a boss. Uh, just stacking up weapon polish and then hit them for massive massive damage I was gonna say maximum damage and then I was gonna say massive and then I ended up stuttering and just ruining the moment um, I'll just level up my charge strike I think that's my favorite right now let's see what we got over here more weapons I got a fire thumbnail for the uh, second episode that's going to come out. Um, it's probably already out by the time you're seeing this, because this is the third episode, so it sort of makes sense to put out the second episode before the third episode. Come on. For some reason, I keep trying to do that too fast, and then it doesn't register. That's a fun... The spin move is really fun, too. Alright, come on. These tables and things really look like they should be interactable, but they're not. Unfortunately. A bunch of skeletons over there, it looks like. Alright. So, I was looking at the wiki, and it said that there's two bosses in the game. 
but I've only ever seen one. So. There we go. That sort of worked. Didn't do much damage, but. There's damage on the skeleton private, so it just doesn't do much on the lieutenants. So far, might need to make sure that I'm eating. All right, should be able to go to the next room. Uh, do I need to heal up or anything? Not really. I do need to eat, like I just said. So I'll go ahead and do that. Let's see if it's the uh, golem again. Okay, well, maybe wait for... Oh, okay. We're just going. It is the golem again. So now that I know that there's, like, such a thing as magic, it seems like there might be an easier way to do this. Okay, well, I'm probably getting hit here. Also, I guess I do have a bow, right? So, I could probably do this. Oh yeah, that does a lot of damage. You know, I got all these tools in my arsenal, and I'm not really using them. I'm just using my sword. Right, it's probably gonna yeah, do this attack at me. Still a very easy... Oh, no, 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 no. Well, I lost out on a bunch of damage there, but oh well. There we go, 273 in one hit, that's pretty good. You gotta admit, that's pretty good. Okay, well I just can't hit anything apparently, so... What? Okay... Well, that didn't quite land. This is much easier than trying to, like, jump slash him and just tank damage and whatnot. Although I'm going to do that again. Here we go. There here we go. I got more... More swords. Just always more swords. I'm sure I'm going to get 50 swords during, in all these uh, chests. I'm seeing something about there being like a secret room somewhere around here. So I'm going to take a look around. Somebody cleared the dungeon or the deal. Did that say? Did that say somebody cleared the dungeon? It's like, it was me. I'll just be honest. Not gonna try and hide it, it was me. Nice sword. I don't think there's really any point to keeping like most of the swords that you get. You can just sell them, and they, you, they sell for a lot. You might notice I have 50,000 gold right now. And uh, a lot of that is just from selling all the swords I got last episode. Well, there is a balcony up here, but I don't think there's like. I don't think there's anything here. It's just. Just a random balcony. Is there like a another level above, maybe, or something? I don't think so. I think it's pretty much. Doesn't look like there's anything else here. All right. Good enough for me. Let's go. So that's fine. Um, I do have a bunch more like salt and pepper and stuff now. 12 though, which is a little annoying. Okay, that's not what I was trying to do. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. Oh, I can't do that when I'm... Alright, whatever. I'm leaving. 
I was hitting a rock. I was trying to do the spinning attack, but I kept hitting a rock. Like that. Alright, let's just get out of here. And eat some. Can't eat while I'm on the glider. Makes sense. And then... Didn't it say my sword is about to break? I don't know, it said it's a bad weapon for this because it was thinking I was trying to break the rock. Um, where is... there's the, the altar. Oh, that was a long fall. I wonder what that is up there. Is that a thing or is that just like decorative? I don't know. So, uh, when I get back, what do I want to do? I want to make a steel pickaxe. Mainly. I'm going to have to smelt up a bunch of the iron that I have. Um, was there any, like, meta stuff I wanted to talk about? Because I'm going to have a little bit of time. Or I might just do this off camera. I'm going to go under 26 minutes. I feel like that was a pretty action-packed 26 minutes. Maybe I should just leave it there. Leave it on good note. Um, maybe. If I can think of something to talk about in like the next five minutes, then I'll keep going. If not, I will do some stuff off camera and then maybe regroup and film another episode, or maybe not. I don't know. So, first things first, let's cook all of our iron. We're going to need a lot. I have 99 plus 61, and then we're going to cook that into steel. And we're going to use that steel to make a steel pickaxe, and maybe a steel axe, although I think that's probably less important. Um, and then we do also have armor that we can make. So I just need to get leather and iron and I can make some armor. And that should be fine. Do I have a preference on color? Black armor seems pretty cool. Alright, let's uh, take some iron out. Oh, I already have a bunch. I don't totally understand why it keeps doing this. Anyway. Iron, do I have leather? leather? I have seven. I'm sure I have more somewhere. Uh, not there. Although I do have stuff to put away. Okay. I need to sell those swords. Leather. I'm sure I have leather. Here we go. Okay. Just go ahead and I'll make the black one. Is there more like helmets or anything that we can make? Not really. And I can make some more stuff over here. I have a bunch of new like workbench type things. So I can make a loom, I can make a potion stand, uh, and a hatter, which is interesting. And then we have all these machines and things. So this is this is something I want to dive into soon. We have a livestock farm. I'm not sure how any of this works, if there's like a, an area of effect or if it's more of a um, manual thing. Or if you put a crop in his item, you'll be able to extract the seeds. Okay, that's a possibility. Uh, there's more cooking stuff available. There's a large pot. There's an aging ability, facility. You can dry age your meats. Uh, power tools. A sprinkler. Well, that's, that's probably going to be a good thing to have. A generator for generating electricity. So that's pretty sick. An excavator to automatically mine minerals. Only for bedrocks, what does that mean? Requires modules for complete automation. 
Yeah, so there's a bunch of stuff. We're basically in the... We're in the mechanical age now, so... Pretty soon here, I'm going to start... Pretty soon here, I'm going to have to start uh, messing with the farming and stuff. I'm going to... Um, I'm going to try and figure out how it works on my own, and then I'll look up some better designs and things. Um, that's right, I wanted to make a storage silo. I'm not going to do that right now. Alright, it's been 30 minutes. Um, I will do some stuff off camera. And, uh, yeah, and then I'll see you soon.